Welcome to Dynamic Medicos. Today in this video, I am going to talk about bacteria Salmonella typhi. Let's first start with the morphology. It's an gram-negative bacilli and motile with the peritrichus flagella and it's non-capsulated and non-sporing bacteria. Let's see the cultural characteristics of the Salmonella typhi bacteria. It is circular in shape in all the agars and it shows the low convex elevation in the nutrient agar, McConkey's agar and the blood agar. And its surface is smooth in all the agar except in the Wilson Blair bismuth sulfur medium where it shows the glistening surface. Its color is grayish white on the nutrient agar. It shows the jet black with metallic sheen on the Wilson Blair medium. It shows the colorless in the McConkey agar, grayish white on blood agar. It shows the red with black center on the xyloslicin agar medium. Its structure is translucent on the nutrient agar, also in the McConkey agar, also on the blood agar. And it shows the opaque on the William Blair medium and the translucent opaque on the xyloslicin medium. It shows the gamma hemolysis on the blood agar. Now let's see the antigenic structure of Salmonella styphi. The outermost portion of the bacteria surface covering is called the O antigen and a slender thread like structure called H antigen that is part of the flagella. Now let's see the clinical features. High fever, headache, stomach pain, constipation or the diarrhea. Another symptoms are signs and symptoms are likely to develop gradually often appearing one to three weeks after the exposure to the disease. Early illness, signs and symptoms include fever that starts low and increase daily, reaching as high as 104.9 Fahrenheit, headache, weakness and fatigue, muscle ache, sweating, dry cough, loss of appetite and weight loss, stomach pain, diarrhea, constipation, rash and the extremely swollen stomach. Later illness Without treatment, you may become delirious, lie motionless and exhausted with your eyes half open in what is known as typhoid state. Life-threatening complaints or the condition often develop at this time. In some people, signs and symptoms may return up to two weeks after the fever has subsided. Let's see the lab diagnosis for the Salmonella typhi, Vidal test, blood culture and clot culture. What is Vidal test? Typhi dot or the Vidal test is a rapid serological test for the diagnosis of the typhoid fever. Typhoid test is a dot ELISA kit that detects IgM and IgG antibodies against the outer membrane protein that is OMP of the Salmonella typhi. The typhi dot test becomes positive within 2-3 days of the infection and separately identifies IgM and IgG antibodies. The test is based on the presence of specific IgM and IgG antibodies to the specific 50 kD MP. Typhoid fever or the enteric fever is an acute life threatening and the fever causing illness transmitted by the ingestion of the food and water that has been contaminated with the feces of the person infected with the bacteria Salmonella typhi or the Salmonella paratyphi. Typically typhoid fever is accompanied by diarrhea, progressive fever and rose colored rashes. There are two commonly use screening test for the detection of the antibody to the bacterium. The Vidal test is both qualitative and the quantitative. 
it can tell the titers of specific antibodies the typhoid separately identifies igm igm bodies for the bacteria igm shows the recent infection as uh, I igg signifies remote infection thank you so much guys for watching the video please do like comment share my video and subscribe to my youtube channel dynamic medicos